Hey, welcome families. Dr. Kyle here coming to you guys live from the Michigan Family Wellness Clinic right here in Canton. I just want to welcome you guys to our training Thursdays where we're going to be talking all about sinus relief and how chiropractic adjustments and lifestyle nutritional medicine can really help people with seasonal allergies, especially as the seasons begin to change here. Uh, it's a beautiful day out. I'm so excited to have all this sunshine, so I hope you guys are enjoying that as well. And always, guys, with these Training Thursdays, I encourage you guys, say hello, give us a thumbs up, drop any questions here in the comments. I really budget this time every Thursday to leverage it for your benefit. So if you guys have questions specifically about the sinuses, how that all works, drainage, lymphatics, the immune system, everything, Go ahead, drop those in the questions, the comments below, because then I can actually respond to what you guys are going through and experiencing. So that's always nice when it's relevant. We like to say that we provide resiliency solutions for restored lives. So once again, it's all about having that strength to adapt to the challenges, to the stress in our life. And the model as an approach towards that resiliency are the structural spinal chiropractic adjustments combined with in conjunction with the lifestyle nutritional medicine. So we talk about somatic somatic reflexes and we talk about visceral somatic reflexes. So yes, it is incredibly powerful to have your cervical spine, your neck adjusted. I was just working with a patient yesterday here in the office that's been having some sinus issues and over the past few months, trial of care, he's been doing a lot better with his sinuses as a result of just adjustments alone. Okay, because we have a ton of lymphatics that drain through the neck here. We have the entire sinus cavities. We have the cranial motion of our uh, cranial bones and all of that, the dural tension that can go into uh, the draining of the sinuses. So, you guys, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to have a well-tuned, a well-adjusted, artfully adjusted central nervous system, uh, especially the cervical spine, if you're struggling with any kind of uh, sinus struggles, allergies, congestion, uh, all of that, it really makes a big difference. Now, that having all been said, let's jump into some practical applications for lifestyle nutritional medicine that can really assist with uh, sinus and immune challenges, allergy challenges. Uh, so with that, let's talk about quercetin. So I want to share my screen with you guys here. And if you're just jumping on live or if you're watching this on the replay, Please, I encourage you guys, drop us questions in the comments below. Let us know what's most relevant to you so we can speak directly to that. So once again, let's go ahead and share our screen here. And let's look at this window right here. Okay, so I hope you guys can appreciate this. This is an image of our mast cell. Okay, so the mast cell is actually an immune cell that's part of our immune system. And typically speaking, when, whenever we have symptoms, okay, that's when this cell right here tends to release a chemical called histamine, okay? So histamine is what causes all of our symptoms. So the runny eyes, the stuffy nose, uh, the drainage, you know, you, people that are always carrying around the box of Kleenex, you know, because they're blowing their nose all the time, even respiratory challenges with coughing, okay? Okay. Uh, redness in the eyes, this is a major player of that as well, okay? So if you can imagine here, we have these receptors that are on the mast cell, and when our body sees an environmental trigger, this can also go for gluten, soy, dairy, uh, all of these proteins, So, but especially within the context of an allergy, this could be pollen, this could be... Uh, any kind of a grass, a tree, uh, those cotton trees that are prevalent, you know, more so I would say in the summer and the fall. All right, so that's when you have, okay, these triggers bind to these receptors, okay? They're actually called calcium protein complexes, okay? So then there's a rush of calcium into the cell, which causes mast cell rupture, and then that releases the histamine, okay? And that's what causes our symptoms, all right? And some people, are better able to buffer this. They're more resilient uh, to it than others, all right? So from a biochemical, from a clinical perspective, what we can do is we can look at the literature and we can look at quercetin, all right? So let's actually look at quercetin down here, all right? So quercetin is 
unlike traditional approaches, quercetin stops the release of histamine before it starts, okay? So it stabilizes that mast cell and it prevents the release of the histamine, which can be great for dealing with the symptoms, managing the symptoms, giving your body a chance to really get ahead of that environmental trigger and then actually get rid of it, okay? So that's why quercetin is so effective. Now, here's the thing about quercetin. Not only is it blocking the release of histamine from the mast cell, like we said with our, with our allergy context, but here's the other thing. In order to get the effective dose of quercetin, you do need to call uh, what's called front loading, okay? So you do need to front load the quercetin so that you get enough of it in your circulation so that it actually becomes effective, okay? This is called front loading. So what I'll, what I'll tell patients when they use this clinically is you do need to have a loading period, okay? So for a few days, I dose it very high, okay? It's not uncommon to do four, six, or even eight per day for those first few days. I mean, they recommend up to seven to 10 days before you can start feeling the benefits. But typically, I find that people start to feel the benefits within about a couple days. And then you can bring it down to a more maintenance level dose, all right? So I hope that makes sense for you guys, but that is one great approach for blocking histamine release is by using quercetin, preventing mast cell rupture before it even ever starts, all right? So the other thing, I love to pair what's called, this is natural dehist, okay? I love to pair this with a nutritional medicine called Sinatrol, okay? This right here is Sinatrol. Both of these are uh, solutions from orthomolecular. So we have dehist here that supplies quercetin, and we have Sinatrol here that supplies the uh, medicinal herbs, if you will, the NAC, uh, to further improve sinus drainage and immune response. So let's go through that real quick. Uh, so what I love, what I love about Sinatrol here is that it's supplying N-acetyl-L-cysteine and bromelain, which you know is from pineapple. It's very anti-inflammatory, and that helps with mucus clearance, okay? It's all about uh, mucolytics and clearing the nasal passages with N-acetylcysteine, NAC, which is a precursor to glutathione, all right, and bromelain, okay? Also, for the comfort of the throat, to soothe, to soothe the throat, you have andrographis and elithro, okay? That supports the immune system and soothes the respiratory tract. Thyme, the, the herb thyme, is fantastic for maintaining microbiome, microbial balance, which we've been talking about for the past couple of weeks here on these training Thursdays, all right? And finally, we have one of the body's most powerful anti-inflammatories, which is turmeric, which helps with the pressure in the sinuses, okay? Turmeric maintains a normal inflammatory balance there. So again, guys, whether you're watching on the replay or joining us live, I encourage you to post your comments, uh, post your questions in the comments below, post your, uh, if you have anything that's on your mind related to sinuses, or if you have any questions related to chiropractic care, lifestyle nutritional medicine, again, we're trying to always be relevant to what you guys are experiencing. What I'll do with this video as well is in the comments below, I will put links to where you guys can equip yourself with this high quality nutritional medicine from our Michigan Family Wellness Clinic here. And I would also uh, like to support you guys, you know, in between your office visits. You know, we do have patients who say, hey doc, I wanna start chiropractic care and that's only what I wanna do because I wanna take the benefits from that central nervous system. We also have patients who say, hey, doc, you know, I only want to do the lifestyle nutritional medicine, okay? And then, uh, obviously, I advocate that patients combine the two, and they get the benefits of both. The last thing that I want to mention on our training Thursday today is how we can do clinical testing for allergies, clinical testing for anything related to allergies, okay? When you talk about the immune system, now this gets a little technical here. IgG, IgE, IgA, M, and E. So GAME is the acronym, all right? But what we can offer patients here are blood testing, okay? We can do all of these allergy testings. And as you can see, 
We have a basic environmental IgE test here. This is only $55. We have seasonal spring tree allergies for IgE. Very affordable, very comprehensive. We have a summer grass uh, allergen profile here. And as you can see at the bottom, this is only page one. So we have a ton that we can offer. I like to explain how as a chiropractor, as a licensed Michigan chiropractor, I have what's called an NPI number. I can order all of these panels. Uh, they're just out They're just out of pocket. As a DC, I'm not able to bill insurance for those testings, but they're oftentimes way more affordable than going through an MD uh, you know, or a more uh, medically-based model. And uh, they're very convenient. I've had quite a few patients do a lot with their thyroid testing. Uh, it's very, very easy. So I encourage you guys to consider that if you've, you know, struggled with allergies for a long time or if you have any uh, problems with your respiratory tract. Again, not only chiropractic adjustments, but when we measure the blood, when we measure the saliva, when we measure urine, we can really get a good idea of what's going on inside the body and then make clinical recommendations going forward from there. So once again, uh, leave us your comments, leave us your, your questions, let us know what's on your mind. We always wanna be supporting you guys. And we will be looking forward to next Training Thursday, typically at one o'clock. And I just wanna say, thanks so much guys. We provide resiliency solutions for restored lives. I also wanna encourage you guys to check out, this will be coming out very soon. I'm gonna announce it here for the first time my conversation with Bill Shaddle on the Michigan Family Wellness Podcast. So be looking for that. My goal is to get that finalized and shoot that out next week, early on Monday. So sync up with the Michigan Family Wellness Podcast on your iPhone, on your iOS device, and you can also find it on Android. Uh, if you have an Android device, if you're a Spotify listener, if you're a Google Play Music listener, or even uh, tune in or Stitcher, whatever your favorite is. Also, even if you have the Amazon Alexa, go ahead and try, you know, hey, Alexa, uh, l play the Michigan Family Wellness Podcast, and Alexa should be able to find it via tune in there. So that's been kind of fun to play with recently. So, all right, guys, thanks so much. We have a busy afternoon in practice here, seeing patients, uh, providing resiliency solutions to people. So I hope you guys are all having a great Thursday and we will see you next week right here inside the Family Wellness Lifestyle community for Training Thursdays. Thanks so much, guys. Talk to you soon.